All praise be to the Most High God is real. Coming to you all with another video, and I'm going to be talking about Christianity. Okay, um, so yeah, I'm going to be talking about Christianity because we have a lot of these Christians out here like to um, lie to our people just so they can get their money. Um, and it's sad that it's like that. I know because I've been there and I used to sing in the choir, you know, I used to be one of those people, okay? Um, I thank the Most High God for taking me up out of that and showing me things and leading me to His Word, to the truth. So all praise be to the Most High God and I thank the Most High God of His Word for letting me be able to even do this video, okay? So I'm going to start off in Jeremiah chapter 6 I'm already there um, so make sure you all get your notebook so you can write these verses down if not hey I'm gonna just listen that's fine okay so I'm in Jeremiah chapter 6 I'm gonna start off reading at verse 19 okay you all hear O earth behold I will bring evil upon this people even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my law, but rejected it. So, in this verse, Israel, the Most High is talking about us, okay? Um, you know, like now, the Most High God word is going forth. He's studied, you know, telling you all, you know, through... His people, his chosen people, you know, like now about Christianity, stay away from that. It's not good, you know, you're serving a demigod. God. The most high God understanding is not our understanding. We will never understand how he works, okay? Yes, he's in control of everything. He have our people um, deaf, blind, and dumb, okay? The Most High God does what He wants. You know, and by Him having them like that, they're hearing the word. Like, they they, they hear it. But, you know, they're just, they're just not trying to listen. They don't want to listen. And the Most High put that spirit on them, and He know that. But He's still going to, like, test them mess with them you know he's going to study put his word out here okay um and at the same time he end up killing us you know because we're not listening okay even though he put that spirit on us like i say the most high god of israel understanding is not our understanding okay all right and um that's what the verse mean. Like, here, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people. Talking about us. Even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have now hearkened unto my words. So, that's why we're cursed. That's why we are cursed people. Because, you know, our ancestors did not hearken unto the Most High God of Israel. They did not listen. They too busy serving other you know, these other nation gods and worshiping them and not even listening to our father. And it's still like that. And the reason why it's still like that, because the most high God put the curses upon us. So our thoughts are filthy, like evil. That's why so much evil upon us and we're dying and stuff because of, the curses okay because our ancestors did not listen did not hearken so that's why we're going through what we're going through all right within ourselves and we see things happening around us and a lot of us getting killed because the most high is doing all these things all right so i'm going to move on to jeremiah okay i'm going to move on to jeremiah chapter 31 so turn with me to jeremiah chapter 31 y'all
Okay, I'm at um, Jeremiah chapter 31, and I'm going to start off at verse 29. In those days they shall say no more. The fathers have eaten a sour grape, and the children's teeth are set on edge. But everyone shall die for his own iniquity. Every man that eats the sour grape, his teeth shall be set on edge. Now let's go to verse 29. Verse 29, when it says, in those days... They shall say no more, the fathers have eaten a sour grape, and the children's teeth are set on edge. Meaning, we can't sit here and say, oh, it's my mom's fault, or it's my dad's fault, he sinned, or she sinned. That's why, you know, blaming other people because we did wrong. No, it don't work like that. We are responsible for our own sins. When we do something wrong, we are responsible, okay? This Jesus situation about him dying for our sins and coming back, that's a lie. It's impossible. I just read that in Jeremiah, the prophet Jeremiah, of course, he, he's a prophet, okay? He's he's chosen to be a prophet, so he know these things because the Most High is telling him this. Okay, in those days they shall say no more. The fathers have eaten a sour grape and the children's teeth are set on edge. No, you can't say, oh, they're doing this because of the generational curses. Because their mother did this, so now they're going to do it. Or they're doing that because their father did it or their mother did it. Or, you know, no, no. And like I say, Jesus did not die for our sins, Israel. There is no Jesus. It's impossible. I just read it. It's impossible. You are responsible for the bad things that you do. You are responsible for your sins. Okay? Not not me, not your daddy, mother, sister, brother, Jesus. You are responsible for what you do wrong. Okay? And it's like that because that's how the Most High has it. Okay? Jesus, again, I repeat, Jesus did not die for your sins, okay, and I think, I, I just got to read in Jeremiah chapter 6, let me go back to Jeremiah chapter 6, I'm going to go back to, you know, yeah, like, we too busy serving, not me, because I don't serve that demigod anymore. I'm I'm out of that crap, that Christianity bull crap. But, you know, it's important to listen to the most high God word, Israel. If you're still not listening, fine, whatever. It must be in his will. He has you like that, okay? Like I say, the most high God understanding is not our understanding, okay? So, um... This Jesus did not die for your sins. Okay. And to you all that's not listening, y'all hear these words, and I'm sure y'all heard it from other teachers. You know, um, the most high God can send somebody to teach you his word that's not even, that don't even love him. Like the most high God work in ways that we will never understand. Just so you can see, you know, listen. But you're not listening. Okay. Now, it's very important to pay attention to the Most High God word. If you're not, like I say, fine. It must not be in His will for you to listen. Okay. So I'm going to move on to Jeremiah. I did that. Jeremiah. I'm still in Jeremiah 31. Chapter 31. So let's move on to... You know what I did read? I was supposed to have read one, two. Okay, let's go to 31, and I'm, I'm still in chapter 31, Jeremiah chapter 31, and let's start at one. I was supposed to do that one first, but like I said, write these verses down, these scriptures down. is very important, okay? So I'm going to read Jeremiah chapter 31, starting at one. At the same time, saith the Lord, will I be the God of all the families of of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus saith the Lord, the people which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness. Even Israel, when I went to ca cause him to rest, 
The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn you. Okay. Um, let me see. So, this is, of course, this is the prophet Jeremiah. And, um, when the Most High, okay, when it says, At the same time, saith the Lord, will I be the God of all the families of Israel. It didn't say, he didn't say Jesus. He was going to send Jesus and Jesus was his son. No. The Most High is saying, At the same time, saith the Lord God, will I be the God of all the families of Israel. And they shall be my people. That's the verse that I'm really focused on right there. Okay. Now let's go to um, Isaiah chapter 9. I'm going to continue this video out on another video. So just stick with me. Bear with me Israel. And I'll be back.